want it. It looks fantastic. I've been wanting it forever and ever. Oh, Ted, it looks like an awesome toy. Do you have enough money for it? Hello, and welcome to another video cast on inspiring and growing and developing awesome children. In this video cast, what I'd like to talk about is how to help your children develop a certain financial intelligence. Now, just to give you some background, if we look at the development of children and money, for example, then roughly between the ages of zero to seven, and I'm saying roughly because some people will be zero to four, some zero to five, but zero to seven, we tend to buy everything for the children. Yes? From the ages of eight to 14, we, in, certainly in the Western world, tend to give the children a regular amount, call that pocket money, uh, if we can afford it. And then from uh, roughly again the ages of 15 plus onwards, again for some people it's 12, but 15 onwards, we try and encourage our children and find them jobs that they can do, perhaps like babysitting, uh, perhaps like doing a paper round for them to earn some money. What I want to do is focus on the pocket money uh, section. And from my perspective of um, growing my children, I really wanted them to learn the value of things like saving for items, for prioritizing which item is more important to them for when they were going to save, and to help them look around perhaps on the internet, perhaps in shops, for where they can buy that item cheaper. In other words, learn to, to hunt around for, for bargains or negotiate. So these are, are some very important concepts. I, I'm just wondering, though, have you ever, ever met people who their parents buy everything for them? Perhaps it's a a nice holiday and even when those people are 40 or 50 their parents are still buying these things for them. Um, perhaps those people are always living in debt or are on some kind of credit and they, if they want something they buy it. They've never really learned how to do without and to save. And normally that's because of the lack of great financial intelligence. So this is a, a really important thing for, for, I think, for parents to do to teach their children to be independent of their parents. Because one day those parents are, are not going to be around any longer or they're going to lose their jobs and may not be able to sustain their children. Um, and the other thing that we wanted to do when we give them pocket money is for the children to differentiate between what is a treat, what is helping out, and what is pocket money. In other words, doing stuff that they earned money on. And that's what our pocket money was. They had to do things to earn the money. Now, when we talk about doing things, it wasn't cleaning up their room. Because cleaning their room is something they should do. They should be naturally washing their hair, keeping themselves clean, cleaning their rooms, and just generally helping out in the family, helping out with the dishes. What we did pay them pocket money on was things that we probably wouldn't expect them to do. For example, cleaning all the windows in the house. That might be uh, something that we would allocate a certain amount of money. And if they did that every week, then they got the pocket money. And if they didn't, then they didn't get the pocket money. So really, really important to distinguish and allow for all of those things. So in other words, just because you give them uh, pocket money, um, for specific jobs doesn't mean that you can't give them a treat and just say, oh, you know, son, daughter, I love you so much, here's, here's uh, 20 pounds for you and your friends to, to go to the park. That's, that doesn't preclude that, but if the kids want something like Teddy wanted to do just now, he, he wanted this toy, then probably he'd have to go around cleaning the windows every week and, and we'd give him some money. So. Uh, that's it. That's all I want to, to talk about in this video cast. Uh, please do share your perspective, because as I said, this is a bit controversial. And do share those comments in the, the um, bits below in this uh, uh, video cast. And also, please subscribe, because I love making these videos and, and encouraging a lot of community um, on how to inspire and create awesome children.